all right guys this is stephen go technical analyst of allies blue so in this video i'll discuss about bank nifty and this is bank nifty 15 uh, 15 minute chart so now we have seen in a 15 minute time frame bank nifty is running in an uptrend so right now bank nifty is following moving average 20 have you seen price reverse back toward this 20 moving average and again bounce from this area right we have seen multiple uh, rejection are there that means right now 20 exponential moving average acting as a support we have seen right just bounce support bounce support bounce support bounce now question is that if 20 moving average is, is there like uh, running like that if price reverse back toward this moving average can we buy again here so before we, we enter in this area for the buy we have to find out uh, the short pattern and the price range in a large time frame so let me tell you let me show you how it should look like that now let's check it uh, faster day. now uh, you can see in a four hour time frame oh sorry and a daily time frame the price is near this resistance line and why this is resistance line are uh, very important because this resistance zone are respecting both sides so uh, that means you can see First, we have seen this is a resistance and reverse break. And here we can see we have seen support and reverse break, bounce back from this area. And now here we have seen a resistance line. So that means both sides are respecting as a support or resistance. Here we have seen support, sorry, resistance, and here we have seen support. And similarly, we have seen now it's act as a resistance. So that is why it is very important. And another thing you can see here to break uh, to break this supporting line, we need a long momentum candle. Have you seen long bearish momentum candle? So it is very important level. So that is uh, not like that. Uh, this is the resistance. It will not able to break this line. But to break this resistance line, we need more forceful candle. That means we need a more buyer pressure, more momentum candle we need, right? And it's a high probability to reverse break again. So let me show you another uh, analysis, uh, another professional analysis and how professional traders are analyzing in this area. To know more details, so you just uh, visit to my website here. This is called hornprofit.com. So how a professional trader are analyzing any market. So you, you can see. So I'll show you how they analyze in this market. So let me show you in a four hour time frame now we have seen this is a four hour time frame now you can see price hit this area and reverse back again price push up uh, sorry uh, pull down toward this area and again reverse back so if i want to connect the fibonacci so now we have seen here this is a, a point and B point and the C point and we need D point so here a point V point and here C and we need where is the D we exactly we are looking for D where is the D is so that is why I want to connect Fibonacci right okay just I connect that this A and B point and we have seen C point and the FIBO, according to the Fibonacci, we have seen two extension line. One is 138.2, exactly 138%. Okay. And another we have seen 161 is here. Right. So let me draw a. 
horizontal line. So we have seen this is 161, two extension we have seen here. One is 138 already here in this zone and another 161. So let me connect X, X point and A point. And this is the X point and here A point, right? It was B and it was C and we are looking for D, right? Okay, where is D? So now let me draw here by connecting this area X point. So when I connect X and A, uh, this wave, and then now we have seen the retracement of 61% of XA wave. All right. So let me draw the shape. Just a minute. Okay, let me zoom a little more. Yeah. And then now I'm gonna draw here shape. First we have seen this point and at this point, this point, and it look like that. And another shape are there inside triangle like that and exactly we have seen this is uh, Fibonacci extension we have seen somewhere around let me tell you that exactly where is the point two nine five uh, six hundred right 29,600, not exactly 29,600, exactly 29,550. Alright, that point is showing here. That is your target. And if you want to see, this shape will be like that. Inside shape. Okay. Now we have seen. That is the method. Right, let me change this color and then it comes to no, it will be different. And I'm not change this color. Okay. Okay. Now it should look like that. It's a targeting like here. Right. So that means it is a high probability to reverse back from this area toward the moving average. Right. Always remember the price is always running in between this moving average suppose it is ma what whatever ma ema whatever price is always running like that running like that right like that and uh, similarly we have seen here price here is 2 ma 200 ma they are running like that right? they are following that one so we have expect so we are expecting again price will push down toward this moving average all right so for the confirmation right now we need some confirmation in this area because this area is uh, what called key level so we are looking for a price action method or you can say like that a behavior a candlestick behavior or candlestick pattern so similarly we have seen doji pattern right and evening star almost and inverted hammer inverted hammer like that we are looking for that type of candle so now you can see this is a four hour time frame right now is almost 10 a.m so around 1 15 a uh, p.m so this four hour candle will complete right if we find any bearish candlestick pattern in between before uh, like 1 15 candlestick pattern so we will confirm that price will reverse. Remember that is the most important point. If in between this uh, 1 15 p.m. If we find any bullish candlestick pattern who have a more momentum like a buyer momentum, buyer pressure. So we never gonna take sell position in this area. So if they form this type of candle bullish candle so we will confirm that they will break this resistance line right 
so that is why we always combine uh, two to three confirmation right okay so if they form this bullish candle like that so how we will identify is it bullish or bearish right let me tell you okay just a minute let me zoom we can zoom more than them okay now i can see we have seen this is bullish candle that means large candle from here to here after that followed by a uh, small candle uh, followed by even smaller followed by even smaller now all you can say dozy like that now we have seen they're forming this type of uh, uh, dozy pattern right so that means buyer momentum are uh, decreasing the momentum are decreasing that means buyer pressure are decreasing if in between this four hour candle in this candle we never find any bullish momentum though at that time we will confirm that they lost entire bullish momentum and it is a high probability to reverse back right and remember in this four hour candle if we find any bullish candle who is dominated by uh, seller uh, buyer uh, in that case we will confirm that price will go up right so my view is in between this area uh, in a four hour time frame we are just uh, we must wait to complete this candle right so in that case sometime uh, what call some trader cannot control their emotion at that time they are entering in this market for the enter in a small time frame you can see here price is just following moving average home 20 right 20 bounce 20 bounce 20 bounce and the 20 bounce so in that case we must wait to break this 20 level all right once they break this 20 level and in that case let me show you another thing here so I'm gonna draw here by connecting this point. Have you seen? I just connected more tasses area. Here bounce, bounce, right? Bounce and bounce. So we have seen this is a trend line in between this area. For the sell, we must wait to break this trend line, right? So if they break this trend line, so we can go for short. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.